Job losses and reduced income have a lot of people turning to savings to help get through, through, through this pandemic. And for those close to retirement, it could really change your plans. Joining us this morning is Everything Financial CEO Peter Sashaki. Good morning, Peter. Good to see you. Morning, Carrie. How are you this morning? I'm great. So if you're a young person and you've been impacted by this financial crisis, you have time to get back on track. But if you're someone who's looking to retire in the coming year, well, you have a lot of questions on your mind, I imagine. So what sort of things should someone who is retiring consider? Uh, one thing to consider when you're retiring is how much money you're going to need to retire. Uh, easy way to do that is figure out what you spend. We've talked about this on a lot of episodes. Track what you spend every month, because even though theory says you will spend less in retirement, in 30 years of doing this, people spend the same amount roughly. They just spend it differently in retirement. Though during this time of the pandemic, they're not spending anything for a, for a little while yet, so you, you're not gonna spend a lot of money the next few months, but you will go back to normal at some point. So should people who aren't retiring for several more years be selling investments to protect savings? Uh, no, the one thing you don't want to do is a knee-jerk emotional reaction and get out of the market. Stay in the market. We've seen lots of recovery since the lows on March 23rd. Despite what we might think just from listening to different things, the market is not down that much right now. It's down about 18% from the peak but that's not what you should look at. You should look at where was the market one year ago and where is it now? And it's down a little bit from a year ago, but not significant. So in the past, when the markets have crashed, things have, have come back, but how long does it typically take for it to come back? Um, in all cases, if you look back uh, over the past 100 years, in all cases, but one from the 70s, in one year, the market has recovered double digits from its previous high. So that's, that's a lot of return to growth. Best thing to do is stay in the market. And one thing you don't want to do is don't try and time the market. And more importantly, never, ever make an emotional decision about money. You'll make the wrong decision. Make logical, analytical, thought-out decisions, not emotional ones. So during this time of uncertainty, there are some companies that are offering early retirement packages to their staff to uh, reduce their workforces. So what do you suggest uh, if someone does receive a, a, a package, what do they do with a lump sum payment like that? that? That's a huge opportunity. I mean, it sounds bad using the word opportunity during a pandemic, so I don't really mean it that way, but you could be retired. Look at investing that money, work on your retirement plan, having it in the market because you're going to be putting a lump sum of money in the market when the market is still lower than it was in february it's like the saying they have when tuna's on sale everyone stocks up well this is a good time to retire and we've had a lot of inquiries from people wanting to retire and think about this during this time of pandemic pandemic and job loss it will like you said give someone younger an opportunity for a full-time job coming out of this and you get to do your retirement a little early and a lot of those travel plans, they're on sale too, so your money will go further. Yeah, when our, we are able to travel again, it would be an opportunity for a lot of people. At some point. <laughs> At some point, yes. Peter Sashaki, great advice as always. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, Gary. Have a great day.